There was a guy who was staying in a, for a few years in a mental institute. And he came to the people who run that institute. He said, hey, today or this week, I need to go. I think I'm ready to leave. And I think I've done all the tests. And I think I can make it happen. They said, okay, this is what I want you to do. Pass this test. And then we'll let you go. You'll be, get, be out of here. I mean, it's all, you need, all, all you need to do is pass this one test. Yeah. Take this bucket and this mop and, and mop this room. Once you finish mopping this room, then it'll be a time for it to go. And so the man was in there all day mopping the room, like mopping, mopping, mopping. It was some water all over the place. He was trying to get all this water up. At the end of the day, he still thought he was done, finished mopping, he thought, but, you know, the, the, he was still mopping a little bit, but he came to him and said, hey, I've mopped a lot of this and there's this water here. I, I think that's time for me. They said, no, you're not going to be able to, not going to be able to go. And he brought him back to his room. What had happened was they had left a faucet running in a corner and let the water keep coming out. And the man didn't go to the root cause to turn the faucet off. He just kept mopping the water and mopping mm -hmm. the water. I'm challenging yeah. you to go to the root cause of your yeah. life challenges. Find Christ, find God, recognize who you are in Christ and recognize as an African-American that the root cause of your identity can be healed and found by going to Africa and finding then these questions that perhaps are lingering even in your walk of faith as a yeah. believer.